you know what I find funny? It's a straight blatant disrespect. This girl, football season, or any sport event, HBCU's out for each other. And I'm the only other year. But the nubs, once the season comes back and everybody's against us, when that, that brings up history, if these schools can come together, Mississippi, we know what's going on. Trying to close down three HBCUs, including Jackson State and Alcorn State. We understand that. But those schools, alumni, would not let it, let it go. That's one thing I do respect about HBCUs. They're coming together once the ball stops playing. And then also the fact that we can rely on bringing up legends on those sporting events. Legends that no one else in the states can touch. People want to say the best quarterback ever in Mississippi was a Manning. Not even close. Best quarterback in the state. Well, let's just say his uh, family name runs deep in the state. But they don't argue about that. They will defend such options. They will defend such players. Valley. Alcorn. Jackson. If you're ever trying to start a NFL all-time great list, you can start with those three schools. Best running back ever, Walter Payton. Best receiver ever, Cherry Rice. Best quarterback to ever grace Mississippi. I'll say it. Steve and McNair. You start with those three and you have <laughs> the three best chips to go anywhere. But we always wonder, can we do more? Should we do more? Well, looking on Indeed.com, I'll just let you see what I saw. My name is Coach Simmons. And for now, I'm just a fan. I mean, hell, you can always go ahead and apply. They are hiring.